and welcome to my channel. If you want to see how to get this easy everyday makeup look, just keep watching. Today I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup look using some new Green Beauty products that I have recently got. Put a little, look at that, get higher on my face. So, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and use this um, Suntegrity 5-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer and it works really well. It is a very light tint. Um, so I'm going to just put some of that on the back of my hand here. And then I'm going to use my good old fingers. I still haven't figured out how to film <laughs> yet. Rub this in. This is very moisturizing. So when I use this product, I don't tend to use um, a moisturizer underneath of it because my skin will get too greasy. And I have normal to dry skin. I do get greasy around the T-zone, but I also get really crusty around the T-zone. And I have rosacea, which you can see. I don't really get too many zits, but I do get discoloration very sensitive skin, redness, broken capillaries. And I put some my eyelids. And I put sunscreen on my neck too, but I already did that because you want to stay youthful. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, my everyday uh, minerals. And this is the base in Fair Zero N. I would say Fair On. Fair On, man, yeah. And this works great to put powder on, just so you know, it, it really works well. So I'm gonna tap some of this off. Ooh, not good. And I'm gonna apply this with a brush. Got a little Eco Tools Old as Dirt brush that I've been using forever and a day. I'm gonna come back in with my little mirror here. Okay. Here's up. I'm still trying to figure out how to actually make a video. I've watched only about a trillion of them on YouTube for years, but. So I just put that layer all over. And I'm gonna go back in and get some more. I'm swirling it in the lid. Okay. You get your chin. I don't know why my chin gets really red. The makeup just comes right off of it. And I really love this powder. I mean, it does not make you break out. It's not expensive. It's green. Doesn't have any weird ingredients. And see, and that's what my skin, oopsie, I got crusties. But it's not too bad. And this stuff really looks good after it sits. Next I'm gonna go in is, I got this. There's witch hazel rose spray and I'm trying this out I use it both as a toner and a setting spray um, obviously I love the urban decay but I'm trying to you know make all my products healthy and non-toxic so I'm trying this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this powder down it's going to let it kind of um, you know sink into my skin and then I'm gonna go in with some more powder which is just gonna kind of set everything. And that is the RMS Beauty um, Unpowder, which actually I don't 100% like. It's, um, it's one of those powders that will make the coverage come off. Like you put your foundation on, and then you put this powder on, and bam, where does your coverage go? I mean, you put it on, you got red patches again. Like, but it does really mattify your skin very well and it is very soft and silky so it does eliminate pores so what i've been doing is kind of layering it um, to get the benefits from it without having it lift up my foundation so 
my face is practically almost dry and it comes with this little little thingy majigger. I'm gonna take that out, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and oh, I gotta figure out how to do this better. Put just a little bit in here. That's all I'm gonna use, just that little well, you can't really see. Just a tiny bit, you don't need a whole lot. And be careful, it does go up in the air. You don't want to breathe silica. Okay, so now that's all loaded up in my brush, I'm going to take it and apply it to my, very lightly too, press it in. Do not swirl this on your face. And I tried using the puff that comes with it and I just do not like it. I mean, it, it will just take my makeup right off. Yeah, that's not bad. Light, light little dusting. Okay, so next I will go in with my eyebrows. And I'm still using my Anastasia Brow Wiz. Is this Brow Wiz? It's Brow Definer. This is the bigger one, the chunkier one. I have the smaller one too, but I like this chunkier one better because it is easier to use. Um, and makes your brows go much faster. And as soon as this is gone, I am going to get a green version of it. So, okay, this is gonna be difficult. Okay. Okay, so I just keep it really, and I got one little gray hair there. You see that white hair? I love it, I want more white hairs. Okay, I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna trace along the bottom. This is nothing fancy, okay? And then I'm going to trace along the top. And then I'm going to trace along the tail. And I do like big brows. I've kind of always had big bushy brows. And then I'm not going to worry about um, making it look perfect because that's what I'm going to use the spoolie for. So I'm going to go and do this side. Like I said, I'm going to fill in the bottom. And then the top and then a little bit in the middle and then I'm going to come and just fill my like that okay and then we're gonna go with the spoolie side of this and I'm just gonna gently um, blend that color out Make it not look like I crammed on my eyebrows. Which it probably still looks like, but I don't really care. You know, you get to a certain age in life and you don't really care anymore. You just don't want to look like a naked mole rat when you leave the house. Just some semblance of your former beauty. <laughs> okay, that's good enough for me. Like I said, this is an everyday work errand. I don't care, look. And then I'm gonna go in with this um, Thrive. I'm sorry, I cannot get used to looking at the stinky camera. I'm gonna figure it out though. Thrive Cosmetics Brown Pencil. And let me tell you what, they say that this is permanent, semi-permanent eyeliner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, you ain't. Don't lie. You are not. Oh, no. But it does have this little um, sharpener, okay? It comes out and a little blendy doodad. So that's pretty cool. And uh, it's got a pretty, pretty good intensity of shade there. You know, it looks pretty decent. And it lasts okay. It will smudge on my lower waterline, though. I'll put this in. So first thing I do, is rub this into my waterline on top. And I try not to get it all the way in here, and I try not to get it on the bottom because it does close off my eyes. So I'll do this side. And then I like to cause a little a little flick there at the end. Why does that look so weird on there? I don't know. 
a little flick. And then I'm gonna go in on the top, just on this outer corner, and kind of smudge in a little bit of a wing. And I go about midway here, and I'm gonna stop. And then we'll go back to the side. And uh, like I said, yeah. this does not have to be perfect, y'all. Just get the shape halfway. And this, this all is smudgy. I mean, honestly, you could leave it just like that. I mean, you could just leave it all nasty because then, okay. <laughs> then we're going to take this little thing here and we're going to go in and we're just going to smudge it up a little bit. And don't worry about this drying because it doesn't dry. Because it doesn't stay. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot to put the lid back on. This is a disaster, people. I hope someday I will look back at this and laugh. And not cry. Okay. I'm just going to kind of... There you go. Good enough. Now we're going to do the sign again. Kind of blend it out. Go back to the side a little bit. And some, then I'm going to go in with some good old Man Eater Tarte Mascara. And I'm going to get just a little bit like this. I like just barely get my lower lashes because I am I have very blonde hair and it will I'll look like a naked mole rat okay um, and then I'm gonna go in this side and I'm nothing fancy y'all this is just regular old mascara application right here Oop, my husband's about ready to come out there he is this fly to fancy rms um what's it called unbridled lipstick it's only lipsticks you know they're in the pots and i got this color for free it's awesome they have awesome reward programs you gotta check out rms and i like these they're a little cakey they're a little waxy but they do last all freaking day and some of them really stain your lips good which i love because then as the the lipstick wears off you still have that good stain and i work long shifts and a card and I want my lipstick to stay so I don't care it's a little waxy and you're gonna see look, look at this so look at that so it kind of settles in your lines but after you wear it for a little bit it actually softens out and it gets more moisturized looking and it's really pigmented so I really think you gotta work this one into your lips if that makes sense you really gotta work it in between all the crevices especially if you have dry crusty lips like I do so that's it I'm done I'm gonna take my band off I'm messing my hair a little nobody's trying to be perfect around here Anyways, thank you so much for joining me on my very first makeup video, and please subscribe and tune in for more videos. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.